Testing, testing, let me know if you hear. It is exactly 4.30. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter, Melissa Armo. Thank you so much, Online Trader Central. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And so today, I'm going to teach you about institutional money. I'm going to teach you what it is, what it looks like in charts, and if we have some time at the end. I can pull up the market and we can take a look at that as well. If you have questions, you just write it in here. And I will answer the question out loud, say the question and answer it as we go along. Okay? Okie doke. So today I'm going to talk about how you can trade in the side of institutional money to earn over $200,000 a year. Or really, as much money as you want to earn, which is in accordance with your risk. So we're going to talk about an advanced risk today, risking an advanced amount of money between $1,000 and $1,500 in order to make this annual number of income. Now, whether you choose to day trade for living or whether you want to do it part time, it doesn't matter. My strategy, which follows institutional money and pinpoints and predicts it in the market, only sets up in the morning. Okay, so I trade in the morning between 9:30 and 10 a.m. 10 15 Eastern time. So you don't have to sit at your desk from 9 30 to 4 o'clock every day. The stock market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time daily. If you want more information, you can email me. Here's my email. It's Melissa at the stockswish.com. You can also call me at 929-3200-427. And I encourage you to go to YouTube and watch my videos there. Now before we get going, I have been tracking back the last, it's, it's a month now. This is back from January 23rd, all the trade calls from the room, the winners and the losers. So everyone says, well, gosh, you know, trading is so hard and how do you do it? How can you make as much money? You can, okay, you absolutely can. This was the 23rd of January. It was QCon. We're gonna talk mostly about shorts today because I prefer to short stocks, although we will talk about going long as well today. because we're gonna talk about institutional buying and selling. But you can see here, the short winners, this means the stock I shorted it, or I called it in the room as a short, and the ones that were losers, okay? So, if you wanna go through all of these, Juniper was a loser, UA was a loser. There was a couple days here that I did not trade, the internet was down. And Trip was a loser. And today, here's Monday today, this week, Monday the market was closed. Friday, I closed the trading room as well. So in one month's period, there were three losers in the trading room. So if you look at the trades we're going to go over today here we're going to go over some of these results and we're going to, I'm going to talk to you about institutional money if you're trading for a whole month and you only have three losers that is a very very high percentage of win ratio so it's about an 85 percent win ratio that i'm really at so far this year in 2017 and so that's extremely good whether you hold the trade to the target whether you get out for a quick move it doesn't even matter, and this is something I've been explaining to a student who's been here training with me, if you are winning more than you're losing, then you will make money and be profitable in the market. And how much you make, whether you make $200,000 a year, or whether you make $1,000 a day in a trade, or whether you make $500 a day in a trade, depends on what? It depends on your risk per trade. You do not have to hold every trade to the target. Not every trade has to be a massive winner. 
all right? But how do you get a high percentage win ratio to only have three losers? And actually in the last month, there were three days I took off, okay? So really, how do you get this? You have to have a good system. And I have a good trading system. This is what I personally do and I personally teach people in a class that I do once a month, which I will talk about here you know, at the end, the dates and in between. But the purpose of my system and the reason that it has such a high win ratio is because I'm able to predict whether an institutional money will sell the stock on that day or buy it in the gap. And I will discuss with you and explain to you what a gap is today. So it is not beyond the realm of possibility to make money as a trader. It is just that many people do not have high quality systems. You must have a high quality system if you want a high win ratio. It is not about getting huge, massive risk to reward trade wins, and it's not about getting huge, huge wins. Everybody does that once in a while. It will just happen to you if you trade. But you also will have many, many losers or huge losers if you don't have a good system. So having a good system allows you to keep going, to keep trading, because you don't have that many losers. So this was the first uh, two weeks of that, of that, uh, of the trade results here. This was the January 23rd week. If you did all the trades, this is with the one loser of the Juniper, you could have made 6,300. This is using an advanced risk. The second week was the week of January 30th. You could have made over five grand. And again, there was a loser. So bottom line is, just in that first two weeks period of the time that I showed you there, you could have made over 11 grand. In order to make 20 grand, you know, or uh, 200 grand a year, you, it's about 16, six or so a month. And in those two weeks, you could have made 11,000. This is again with an advanced risk of between 1,000 and $1,500 per trade. So you can make money doing this. You can. People with me in the room are making money. The risk of everyone in my trading room though varies. Some people are risking 100 bucks a trade. Some people are risking $200 a trade. Everyone's risk is different. And how do you determine what you're able to risk? According to how well you know my system, how well you grasp it, know what to do, follow the system, follow my calls in the room, and also how much money you have in your trading account to assess what risk you can take. Because if you have a $2,500 trading account, you cannot risk $1,000 in a trade, okay? And this is common sense. So you can do this. You can do this if you learn my system and implement it and follow it. And these numbers are not out of the realm of possibility. So open your mind today to learn something. What are you going to learn today? You're going to learn the importance of A, having a good system if you want to have a high win ratio, and that the key to doing well in trading, no matter what you do, my system or somebody else's, is you have to have a high percentage of wins. You cannot lose that often. Not only is losing bad for your account, losing is bad for your mental state, which, by the way, is harder to fix. Than your, than your trading account. You can deposit more money in your trading account and fix it right away if you want to. If you've got the money, okay, or you go out and work and get it and replenish the account, it's harder to fix sometimes when you lose too much in the market or give too much money into the market in losses. It's harder to fix your brain and what's going on in your mind and your emotions then. And you're overcome by the anxiety and fear of taking the risk in trading. And you've got to get over it if you want to be successful, if you want to learn from anyone, me or anybody else out there that has a good system. Okay? Any questions so far? So, if you're here today, you may be here because you need to change what you're doing. You might not be making money in the market. You might be thinking about making money and you might just want a different job. I don't know the reason you're here. You can write it in the room if you want to tell me why are you here today. But, you know, if you continue doing the same actions, you can only expect the same results. This is in your life where you're trading. So if you're going along in your life and you're not making enough money in your current job, if you keep doing that and don't, learn something new like how to day trade. Or if you're trading and you're losing and you're not seeing the same results, you'll keep losing if you don't change what you're doing or change a different system. Okay? You want to change what you're doing if you're not where you want to be in your life and in your trading. And if you want different results in your trading and your life and your finances, Change is required. And not only that, it's necessary. You can't keep going along in the same vein. If you want to be more successful in the market and in life, then learn a trading system that would bring about the financial results you've been looking for. And again, everybody has different goals. Some people in the trading room, their goals make $200 a day. That's it. 
One girl, her goal is 100 bucks a day. That's it, that's her goal. She's happy, all right? Change what you're doing, and the sooner the better, because obviously it's early in the year, it's early in 2017. You wanna have a good year, I wanna have a good year. So far, it has been a good year. And if it hasn't been for you, you got plenty of time to fix it. One of the cornerstones to everlasting trading success is consistency. And I just showed you the consistency in my system even just for the last month. Without this, it is hard to stay in the market for any length of time. You're not going to make it for five, eight, ten years if you're losing every year. In order to be consistent, a person needs proper focus on what counts and really proper training. And that's what you get with me in my class. If you've been dreaming of being successful in the market for years, but the success has eluded you, stop and consider why. It's time to elevate yourself and your trading to a new level. This requires a deeper understanding, better comprehension, and an overall wider perspective of what makes individual success possible for a trader or investor in the stock market. Making over $200,000 a year as a trader is not impossible. However, it can be challenging for many people to make this kind of money, just like I said. Many people find it challenging. They find it challenging to make any kind of money trading. And the reason is because they lack a good system. So if you're going to change what you're doing, you can do it later. You could say, well, I'll do it later when I have more money, when I've saved, when I've thought about it after I'm through this class. I had a guy, this is, this is a true story. Actually, he's not, he's not here. He follows me. His name is Matthew. I spoke to him last year. I spoke to him last year and he was expecting a windfall of money and he was gonna do my class. He didn't, he ended up doing another person's class. And my sister reached out to him and guess what? Since the beginning of the year, since he took the other person's class and paid four grand for that person's class, he's also lost $4,000 of his own money. But he insists on staying with the system he, he just did the class for until it's through, which is like three months. So even though he's losing four grand in a month, he insists that he's gonna keep going with it and he really probably should have done my class and he didn't, he went with somebody else. Many people will just keep losing and losing and losing and losing and never make changes and, and never make the mental changes they need to make. And as I said earlier, sometimes that is almost as important as the system itself. You can keep doing what you're doing if you're not making money, but it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make intellectual sense and it doesn't make sense for your overall health of your life because in order to be happy, you wanna feel like you're getting somewhere with something and you wanna be successful. Whether the level of success you're seeing is, not, is what you want, you may wanna be more successful, but guess what? There's nothing wrong with having goals. The idea of making more money later or being more successful later is fine. The idea of losing though is problematic. So going back to the people that I said that are in the trading room that have goals that are hitting them and making $200 a day, the wrong girl's making a thousand bucks a week. That's, that's all she wants. She's doing it. There's, she feels great about herself. And she will eventually get to the point where she will be able to make $2,000 a week. And then she will get to the point where she'll be able to make $3,000 a week. And then she'll get to the point she'll be able to make $4,000 a week. You've got to start from the beginning, okay? And what do you look at? I look at institutional money. So becoming a successful trader and investor requires becoming a specialist, in my mind, in defining where the institutions, and that means hedge funds, banks, big traders, they take big, huge size, are buying or selling a stock. Learning advanced technical analysis is required, and that's how I trade. I read charts. We're going to look at charts today. What does this mean? It, read, it means reading the price action and charts. So comprehending how to read, define, and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. Elevate yourself, your trading, and your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. And you can do that. You can do that by reading the price action. Reading the footprints of institutional money is possible, and the way that I do it is looking at stocks that gap. So a gap is an event that happens in a chart, in a daily chart in a stock. A gap is something that happens between the close at 4 o'clock and 9.30 the next morning. Gaps happen at night, and they also happen in the pre-market before 9.30. So what does institutional money look like? Well, this is a chart of Google. This chart, and I'm just going to go back here. This was at the end of January. Had earnings. So the stock's been getting bought ever since December. It's going up, it's up, it's up. Here we are at the beginning of December, stock was at what? Go over to the price. It was around 747-ish, 748. Rallied all the way up to what? Over 800. 
boom, came in. Low here is what, 772-ish? Rallied up, had earnings. Made a brand new all-time high in the earnings. It ended up gapping up on the earnings, made the new high, and then fell in the day. But the point is the stock went up where? 840-ish. Okay, see the chart. These numbers are small, but I'm telling you. So from the beginning of December, for two months, the stock had a move of what? Almost 100 points. Now this is Google, okay? So everything moves differently as the price points. And again, I don't look at percentages, but I mean, you don't have to be a genius to know, wow, that is a move, people. In two months time, the stock almost went up $100 in price. How would that happen? And it particularly is a great example because of the price of the stock. I mean, little dinky rinkerdinks are not buying Google at this price point. Even down here, it was over $750 a share. So institutional money is buying this stock. They're buying it up. They're moving the price. That is the only way the stock could have gone. $100 almost in two months. Two months is not a long time for the stock to have a move like that. Number one and number two, the price put in the stock is expensive and it's a big move, even for Google, okay? There's only one way that could happen. The stock is being bought by institutional money. So therefore, Google is, as you can see, not a short. Google is a long. You play the gaps in this. It is higher. Who knows where this will be tomorrow? I mean, who knows where the market will go? You know, the, what are we at? February 20th. You know, we got one more full week of February. Very bullish market times we're in. So it is about commitment. When, when, this, when these funds, when they come into the market, when they come into stocks, it's a commitment. They're, the money's committed. It's not to say they won't sell out, but they're not gonna take a position and quick sell it out. I mean, there would have to be disaster for that to happen. Okay, I'm not saying never, but pretty something bad. So usually there's a level of commitment. Similar to what you have to do, you have to decide if you're committed to trading. My class is $5,000. That's, there's a level of commitment to even learn from me and be mentored by me. It's five grand to take my class. That's a level of commitment. It's two days, two full days in a weekend and 16 hours. That's a time commitment. So just like big money, moving a stock, you as a person would have to decide you're committed to doing this thing with me if you want to do it. And, and if you want to do it seriously and you're committed, then you have every opportunity to do well. So commitment has a plan of action. What does this mean? It means, you know, the reasons that these funds take positions in stocks like Google or Amazon or any of the things that, you know, I'm watching on any given day, Microsoft, Facebook, Netflix, you know, they have various reasons for deciding that they want to buy stocks or sell them. They look at research reports, they look at earnings reports, they look at all kinds of things, things that I don't look at. And it's not necessary for me to determine where it's gonna go. Luckily, the gap tells me everything I know. So if you learn how to read the footprints of big position players before the momentum occurs, you can take the position in the right direction. Obviously, if you had known to buy Google at 750, you would have been up more money than if you buy it today or tomorrow at 830, or 840, okay? So you want to get in before the momentum occurs and take the position in the right direction and get out after the move happens for profit. But you have to understand how to trade it with the side of power. You have to understand it. You have to know where it's going, why. You have to be able to predict it. And you need to know how to find it because obviously there's many stocks in the market. And it's very important to find it because this power has the ability to pay you and the market has the ability to pay you. You just got to find the right picks. I'm going back and looking at the trade stats. I usually do one thing a day or call one thing a day, maybe two. It was one day with there, no, it was two days where there was two. Very rare. Knowing how to read what institutional money looks like is essential to becoming a successful trader. And you can win big trading on this side of power. And I'm a firm believer that's the only way that any one particular individual, no matter if you are risking $1,000 or 500 bucks or two grand a trade, can actually make money in the market as a day trader. If it wouldn't be for these large institutions moving stocks in the way that they do, it, it would be impossible for a regular person like me or even you to make money. We'd have to take huge size in trades, and I mean huge size, like 100,000 share lots, and it would be very challenging unless you were a millionaire, actually, to trade. 
So institutional money really is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. All times. Right now, who's in charge of the overall market? The bulls. The bulls. And there's no sign that the bears are going to take charge anytime soon. A big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market, stocks, and it creates the momentum and sets the trend in charts. And when you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. Who's in charge? How do you play it? If you go long and stock rallies, you'll make money. If you short the stock and it sells off, you'll make money. If you're against the direction, you're going to lose. Simple. Boom. That's it. You want to be in the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. And there was a couple different times in the market. I don't have the market chart up here right this second, the overall bigger picture. Again, if we have time at the end, I'll look at it. But there were so many different times in the last three years from really 2013, 2014, all the way up to the beginning of 2017, where many people thought the market was switching trends. Never happened. I never called it that way. I never thought it was. I never called it that way. Never happened. And look at where the market is now. So many people not only don't know how to read institutional money, they actually don't even know how to read the trend in a, in a chart. They think that they do, but they don't. But you will learn that from me. You must, okay? And I go over it and I drill it into people's heads, actually. So what does institutional money look like? Well, this was a short, okay? This was last week. Here's a daily chart. The stock symbol is Hain. Stock closed here approximately what? 3840-ish at 4 o'clock Eastern time. Then the stock opened the next day at what? Boom, 33 something. So what happened here? The stock gapped down. It had a gap down of what? Five bucks or something like that, four something, whatever, approximately. So I'm looking for things like this in the morning and then my system rates them. I have a rating system, it's a checklist. I go through each morning to determine what? If is Hain a short? Is Hain a long? And that's what I do. In order to become as successful in the market, you have to become a specialist. And I'm a specialist in the strategy and gaps. And my gap strategy reads institutional money. So I'm looking to find the gap and then I'm looking to say, wait a minute, are they going to sell this thing today? Are they going to buy this thing today? It's power money that makes it. And again, huge size, huge volume. This brings the momentum and the opportunity. Let's go back and look at Hain. Look at the volume there. Lots of volume in that chart. Look at look at the volume in this. This is all below, uh, below here. Look at the volume the day of the gap and every day else. Crazy volume that day, okay? Actually, here, this was a different gap. Look, this was a gap up. Look at the volume in that bar. I'm just looking here. So the biggest one was this one, and this was the second biggest one. Again, volume bar, okay? Every trader in every level must learn the skill set of how to pinpoint what direction to do something. And it can be acquired through education. Again, you can learn from me how to do this. So why, why are you here? Again, I asked that earlier. You might be here because you're, you're trying to learn how to make money trading. And, and I really believe that it's finding something in the pre-market or the post-market at night or in the morning and then being able to predict what it's going to do before the market opens. And I do that when I see the gap because I can see the gap before the market opens. And the nice thing about my strategy is that gaps really do set up. Um, they do set up quickly. They set up quickly. I'm in and out, like I said, in the morning between 9.30 and 10. I'm in and out quickly and I can easily predict where they're going to go. And I also don't need the rest of the market with me. So I can short a stock even in a bullish market and make money. And if you, uh, you can go long a stock, obviously, in a bullish market and make money like the Google. So to me, it's about focusing on one thing, not having 10 different strategies. You can use my strategy to do options or day trades. We're going to go over an option trade today, okay? The idea of applying one method, which tells you where institutions are going to do with the stock, where they're going to take it. Are they going to take it up? Are they going to take it down? You can do different things with it. You can do options. You can do swing trades. You can do day trades. You can do long-term investing. So I called my system Golden Gaps. And the reason is because it's like finding gold in the market because very often, not only can you make money day trading this stock, you can also make money doing it for longer term moves. Google was a great example. So you could be, you could have been in Google since last December. You could have been in Google since two years ago. You could have been long Google since gosh knows where. Um, it is really is like finding gold because when you find the good gaps and you can predict what institutions are doing with it, it'll you'll tell you how to play it. And then you'll also be able to determine when the shift in power has occurred.
because the shift in power, the change in trend only ever happens in a gap. And that was something that the market never did. And that's why I kept calling it higher. And I kept calling the market to continue to make new highs and it's gonna to continue to do so. Why? It hasn't had a gap down, a bearish gap down to break the trend in the overall market. And it's the only way that it can do it. Now, as I was saying before, for those of you that don't know, what is a gap? A stock gap, so the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. This is the definition of a gap. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. Simple. So you go from 4 o'clock to 9.30. Here's the hang. Again, this space here from where 4 o'clock happened and 9.30 is, is where the gap occurred. The gap may have happened at night or in the morning. It's irrelevant. What is relevant is that it happens during the time the market is actually closed. You have after hours trading and pre-market trading, and you'll learn more about that from me as well in the class. So you are finding these gaps. They're all over the place. There's hundreds and socks that gap every day, but not everyone is predictable. Not everyone is being bought by institutional money. Not everyone is being sold by institutional money. So you have to determine which ones are what I call the good ones. And that's where I came up with the name Golden Gap. So how do you find them? You can buy a scanner. You can go into your top 20 list on your platform, which everybody should have for free, to look up the NASDAQ and the New York stock uh, stocks that are gapping down most active. Up and down, you can get 40 of the bearish and 40 of the bullish. You got a good watch list just from your normal platform. And if your platform doesn't have that, you can buy a scanner, okay? So they're all over the place for you to find them. But like I said, not everyone is predictable. So what is the process of my system? You will get up in the morning before the market opens. You will find the gaps, either with a scanner or on your platform for free. Then you will rate them using a checklist, which you would learn in my class. They have to be qualified. I do not trade gaps that I haven't taken the time to rate. The checklist that you learn from me tells you what to look for in the stock. It tells you if the stock is a long or short. So gaps are a secret ingredient in charts that many people overlook. They don't own, understand them. They don't even think they're significant. Or if they find them and they see them, they don't even understand what they mean. Because you can't go long every bullish gap and you can't short every bearish gap. If you could, it would be very easy to determine what to do. But that's unrealistic and that's not how stocks move. Okay. Gaps make the trend and set the trend and continue the trend in stocks and the market. They set the trend because they're a definitive and demonstrative change and show a price in what is called an event. It's an event in the daily chart. It's a, it's a technical analysis event, okay? And again, we're going to look at some charts here. Gaps are a real show of the power of money. Gaps either continue the trend or, in fact, change it. And as I said, that never happened in the market. If you follow the gap, you'll be following the power of money, but you got to follow the good ones. Uh, there is only one thing though, and this is very, very important, that can move the direction of a stock. It's money. That's the only way it can move at all. And it's not a little bit of money, it's a lot of money, or what I call power money. And that's one of the reasons also I do not trade penny stocks. I trade stocks with volume that have several million shares in the day and move and, 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 and actually go. Or you could short a stock and get a dollar drop in five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction at all times. Even when you think it's not, it is if it's there in the gaps. And that was one of the clues also of the market. And even in Google, because the stock fell in the earnings that day. It did have a big red bar. And it gapped down the next day, but it didn't change the trend. It's already traded over that gap. Trends are set and moved by the power money people, of which there's a lot of in the market. The amazing thing is that as negative as traders and analysts talk about the power money people, they are the reason that one individual can be successful in the market, and that individual is you, if you want to come and learn with me. But you have to get your head on right about how you can make money, which is only going with the flow of the big, big money. Otherwise, it's very stressful to trade. You end up turning yourself into a scalper, and I would never want to trade like that. So as I was saying, gaps happen every day, but some gaps are better than others. So that's where I created the checklist, the rating system to tell me the good ones. And like I said, I, I'm trying to pick only one a day. Sometimes I'll look and rate three, four, five, six gaps, but I'll only do one. But you can do them all. You could do six things if you can handle getting in all of them at once and manage all the trains that want to take the risk. Some gaps, though, are nothing gaps. And some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. And that's the ones you want to do with me in the room. The most important gaps of the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or a bigger move in the same direction. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you to know what to do 
and when a change is occurring. That is how you know when the power of money will flow, and that is how you get paid. You go with it. You go with it, okay? Now, my 26-point checklist is what pinpoints or predicts the institutional money. It tells you it's going to sell it, therefore you short the stock in the gap, or it tells you the stock's gapping up, they're going to buy it, and therefore buy the stock. So the key to profiting in the market is to follow the power of money. It's, it, this is common sense, common, common sense, as I said. If you've got huge funds buying a stock up, 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 all you have to do is get in the right, you know, the right stock that's moving, that they're moving it. You go along the stock with them, and whether you get out now, today, tomorrow, is dependent on how you're playing it. Are you day trading it? Are you doing an option where you have a set time frame? Are you long-term investing it? What are you doing? You determine your exit based on the time frame you have to take the stock in and out of. And as a day trader, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if you're trading with me, you've got to get out before 4 o'clock. That's a day trade. But I like to get out in the morning quick because I find that stocks that gap make 80% of the moves. The institutions do 80% of the move in the morning. Many of them continue. Not all do, though. And so if your goal for the day is in in the morning in 15 minutes, you get out. You are doing this thing for the purpose of making money. You get rich by getting good. And as you get good, you'll be able to risk more. And you can't get to that point until you get good. So the only goal for anybody that comes to me is to get good at doing this. And then you plop on the risk. Because the size is what helps you make more money. And you can't take size in trades, even if you can afford it, until you get good. So you got to learn it. Again, common sense. So this is my system. And I don't have to overthink it. It just tells you what to do. So the Golden Gap 26-point rating system pinpoints the direction of power money by rating price action in the gap. The system is not designed to be 26 points in whole in its entirety for every gap. It is designed to be 20 or more. So I have a six-point cushion. If I rate three things, one is 21, one is 22, one is 24, guess what? I'm going to do the one that rates 24. I'm going to do the one that's the highest rated. Okay. Now, here's target. What did this do? I forget the reason for this. I think this was an earnings gap. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, back in the middle of January, Target had a bearish gap down. Now, let's go over it again. What is a gap? Stock closed here the night before at 4 o'clock around $70. Boom, gap down. Here to what? Around 67 bucks. Boom, there you got it. So the stock gap down. You could look at it in the morning. You can rate it. You go through and you have a checklist and you rate the gap. And you determine, are institutions going to sell the gap or are they going to buy the gap? Should I buy this or should I sell it? Or basically short it. If you're a day trader, you short it, okay? So I determined it was a short. And I want to also show you the follow through. You could have actually shorted this one, two, three, three days in a row. You could have done it as a swing trade. You could have done it as an option. The stock from the high from the day of the gap was 68. And it, within three days, it had dropped more than four bucks. Okay? Here is 68. Within a week, it was at six, it broke 63. Do you see here the selling action? So this is selling action, people. It's institutional selling action. Again, look at the volume spikes. This is down here. Again, the day of the gap. And then you have the follow through here. So you would get up in the morning, you would see the target, you'd see the gap down. You would look at it, you would see it, you would rate it, you would do all of this before 930, you would say, yep, this is a good one, it's a short. You would get ready, and you'd learn from me where the entries are, and i call them in the room, and you short it, boom. Does it matter where you get out in here? No, you don't have to hold this all the way down to the low of the day. And you could have held it even longer. I also want to point out this gap down the second day. Actually, look at this. So it actually gapped down here the first day, gapped down the second day, neutral gap the third day. Very nice sell-off. Now, let's look at a chart here of a bullish chart. Okay, this is a daily chart of what? The QQQs. This was breaking out last week in a Friday, day before a holiday, market closed today. Look at the market. The QQQs are almost up to 130. Look at this chart here. Going back, again, 
Beginning of December, what were the QQQs at here? Go all across, all the way over here, approximately 116-ish, something like that. Look where we've gone. Crazy, all right? Almost 15 points higher in the span of one, two, two and a half months, okay? It's getting bought. You, if I, if I, if I went on the streets of New York right now, and if I showed this to anyone, any stranger, a bum on the street, I'd say, what do you think is happening here? And I'd just give him a brief, quick lesson on chart analysis. He would say that this looks higher to me, Melissa. Anyone would say that. Okay. Anyone. So this is getting bought. It's getting bought with institutional money. So obviously you can't short it. And you're going long in good quality bullish gaps. So it's about focusing on the right information. Where's the money taking it? Up or down? Get in the right direction. How do you know what stock to trade? You rate the gap. How do you know what direction to take it? The gap rating itself. 20 points or more, you take it in the direction of the gap. Under the 20 point margin, you're not gonna do it, okay? You just will not trade it. And that's why there's some days in there that I, you know, I either took off or whatever. There was one day where I just didn't call anything in the room. There was no trades. The most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action and gaps. Understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market will assist you in being profitable. Reading power and money when it sets up will help give you conviction to trade. And anything you can do to help give you conviction will help you press the button, take it, take the risk, learn it, do it. I have the commitment, which we talked about. Seeing when and where the power and money positions are getting in is like finding a gold mine. And that's really how I come up with uh, the golden gap name. Seeing gaps clearly and how they are creating trends, changing trends, and making momentum is a powerful way to trade. You can use this information to enter trades yourself so you can get paid along with the power and money moves. It is very, very important for you if you're going to commit any money at all, whether it's your your IRA funds, your long-term investments, day trading. You want to make good choices with your money. You work hard for your money. And, you know, a lot of people give money to stockbrokers. Stock, stockbrokers have no strategy. They're, they're, they're doing things based on no strategy whatsoever. They make money whether you make money or not on the commissions. It is very important for you to understand some of the things that your stockbrokers have you in, some of the funds that your brokers even have you in, even if you have somebody that's doing it for you. You could look at the chart yourself. Say, wait a minute, is, is this, this person has me in this fund. What are the stocks that are in that fund? Let me look at them. What are the ETFs that are part of that fund? Let me check them out. Let me look at the daily charts, okay? It's so easy to press the button to make money once you know what to look for. You just have to have conviction. My trains and the way that I do it, it's instinctual. It sets up quickly. I get out quickly. That's my personality. I like to make money very fast. You know, again, it's up to you. If you are more of a slow person in getting it out of the trades, then, then do the options. Do swing trades. Either way, it's still based on the gap itself. And, and how do you take the risk to do it to make 200 grand a year? or the money that I showed you at the beginning when we looked at the trade results, you, you know, you have to have conviction. There's a belief. The conviction means it's a belief. It's a strong belief. You believe in the idea and the concept of gaps themselves, number one, that what I'm saying here, looking at these charts, makes sense because it does make sense, that it makes sense that you want to be on the side of institutions because they're moving stocks, okay? Nobody else is but them. And that you can't make money if you're against what's going on in it. In other words, if the stock is going higher, you can't make money shorting it. And again, conceptually, you've got to have more winners. You need to have a high win ratio. You must, or you won't make it. You can't have two huge big wins in a month and lose the rest of the 18 days. You won't make it, okay? I can I guarantee you'll be down, okay? You have to, You'd have to hit the jackpot in those two days. It just doesn't make sense. And emotionally, you'd be a wreck, and your cat would have a huge uh, swings. That's no way to live. So if you want to trade effectively, you really cannot go with a crowd of day traders. Many day traders do lose, but it's a lot of it is because they're all over the place. They have no focus. They don't have a good system. They don't understand anything that I'm saying. But really, a lot of things I'm saying are common sense. So if something that I've said resonates with you, then maybe I am the right person for you to learn from or, or you know, to have as a mentor. It's, 
the crowd sounds great. It's a, the crowd is a is a safe place to be. You know, in a, in, you know, if you look at it and you say, well, everybody else is doing it. This seems like the safer choice. Yeah, okay, but the crowd is not rich. Okay, so the bottom line is, if your goal is to be financially independent or rich, then you can't be like everybody else. Also, the crowd works 40, 50, 60 hours a week. I do not, okay, with my trading. So I do webinars and things like this, but I trade in the morning, I'm done, half an hour a day, an hour, okay? And the time I take to prep in the morning could be an hour too. So say two hours a day, an hour and a half of work. The crowd of people in the mob do not work two hours a day and pay their bills. They work 40, 50, 60 hours a week. So it, it sounds good to be safe in the crowd, but the crowd does not have the lifestyle that you dream of, okay? And you have to consider this. So you have to be different. You have to have an edge. If you want to make a lot of money, or if you want to make just normal money, but don't, don't have to work a lot of hours, it doesn't matter. The trading can offer you both. If you get good, you can make a lot of money. If you want to make, you know, 200 bucks a day and that's your goal, it's still great to do that and work two hours a day. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, okay? What's wrong with making four grand a month and working two hours a day? Nothing. Again, once you get good, you can step it up. So you can make 10 grand a month, 15 grand a month, 20 grand a month, okay? You have to start where you're at right now. And the, the thing is getting the edge, seeing it, seeing the gaps, seeing the institutional money, reading the gaps, reading the gaps, seeing the entries, okay? Being able to predict that Google's higher, being able to predict that the market is higher without, without, without reading the earnings report, okay? Without you know, going and reading the research reports, without, without spending gobs and hours and hours of time. You know, I spend, like I said, an hour in the morning. It takes me three, five minutes to read each gap. Depends how many I look at. Does anyone have questions about anything I'm talking about here at all? The important thing is also that you have to have a strategy that sets up on a regular basis. Every once in a while, there's days where there isn't any good gaps that don't meet my criteria. There's always gaps, okay? There just may be some days that I don't like the gaps that don't rate over 20. But, you know, for the most part, of 200 trading plus days in a year, opportunity sets up daily in gaps, and that makes it possible for you to make money doing this as well. So I want to go over here. This was an option trade, okay, in a bullish gap. So we looked at this chart. This was Google. I call this back. It was the 10th, February 10th, stock gapped up, okay? Stock gapped up, and I called an option in it with a strike price of uh, 820 with an expiration date one week out. So you could have actually taken it that day and got out that day. It went up, and then the people that didn't, I called for the whole room to take it out the next day, which was the Monday. So the price, everyone got a different entry price. It was anywhere between 250 and 295, I think was the highest price of the traders in the room. There were the A20 calls, okay? We're again looking at an advanced risk. If you took five contracts or 500 shares, that's 1,375 bucks. And, uh, and I told everyone to put the order out at four. It actually went, uh, this actually went a dollar over that. So you actually, you could have done this and made 625 bucks. Or if you held it for another buck, you could have made what? Another $500, you could have made 1100. Okay? Either way, this was the exit I gave the room to put the order out to fill, which it filled, it ran up a little bit over six. Okay, actually, no, yeah, you could have made, you could have made $2 more. That's right, that went up to almost six that day. So the point is that this was based on a bullish gap. So the bullish gap was the Friday. It actually had another bullish gap on the Monday. She could have bought it this day too. You could have bought it here and got out. You could have bought it here and got out. You could have day traded here, day traded here. You could have bought it here and got out here. You could have bought it here. You could have held it all week. It went over the strike because it was over the strike. You would have lost some time value, but you would have been in the money ran up to eight, I don't know what the high was, 827 or something. You could have actually held this to the last day, which I don't, I don't advise, but you would have been $7 over the money. Well, look at this. I think it was, I think it was 827 something. That's crazy. So donut trading is saying, how long does it take to get good to become a good gap trader? You want me to tell you the exact days, minutes, hours, and seconds? 
<laughs> it varies from person to person. There is no amount of time. Some people get good immediately. Some people it takes longer. Uh, I think one of the best examples is, is, a, is a new lady. She just started trading. Uh, she just did the class in the last month. She has made back the money for the class already. She has, her goal was to make a thousand bucks a week. Last week she made twice that. She made almost 18, no, she made almost 2,000. She made 1,800. She, she's an acupuncturist, acupressure she does. She, she doesn't have a, she listens to me. She, she doesn't have a lot of stuff in her head. She, I don't think she ever knew what a gat was before she met me, although I'm not certain. I haven't met her face to face. She lives in New Jersey. I probably will meet her soon. She, she's a great example. She's not a head case. I, I, how can I say exactly? Some people are head cases. Some people have learned gaps before they came to me and they've learned something that doesn't work at all. That's the absolute opposite of how I trade gaps so they don't understand how to read a chart. Then they have to relearn everything they learned before that didn't work. And they're all messed up in the head because they lost money before they met me. I mean, if I could determine how long it takes to get good, I, could, I would have to know every person before they took the class. That's impossible. It varies. So what's your best chance for success to shorten up that time period? A, do the class. B, redo it if you have to as many times as necessary because I allow free retakes of the class. C, be in the trading room every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And, uh, and D, listen to the things I'm saying. Think about them. Go back and review your trades. Go back and review the charts. Rate the gaps yourself. People are in the room, they just take my ratings. Don't skip it. Do the ratings with me. Do them yourself and check them with my ratings. Don't just say, oh, Melissa said it's 22. It's good. Let's do it, Google. Rate it yourself. Galahad's laughing. Eric B, when you hold an option during the week, it expires, don't you lose some money? We're going to go over this. At, here, I hope we have time. If we don't have time for this at the end, Eric B, I will do a video for you explaining that about, about the Google. Let me finish through this. If we have time, I'll bring up Google. If not, I'll do a separate video on it. We, we don't have that. We only have a couple more slides here to go, I think. So anyways, earning, I won't forget, earning power and knowing how to earn it, it counts. It counts for duplicating this because you, you could have done Google, like I said, Friday and got out. You could have done Google on Monday and got out. If it had gapped up every day, you could have done it if it really well and gotten out. Okay. Now that was an example of a bullish gap up and you went long on a call and an option. Now let's look at a day trade. Hey, this was a short. What did you do? Boom. You shorted it. You got in, you got out. Target, boom. 33 bucks. Go, drop, in, out. Go up for the day. You're done. 9.35, five minutes, done. You shorted the stock if you did it. Price of the entry, 33.50. Again, advanced risk, 13.50, 3,000 shares, profit, out, going for the day, $33, out. It went past this, it broke it by like 13 cents, but it doesn't matter. Your goal is for the, for the day, you have the money, 50 cent move, take it, out, profit, 1,500 bucks. Done. This was the same day as Google, by the way. So you could have done Hain, short, and you could have done Google, you would have bought it on Friday and got out of it and put the order out on Monday. You could have made over $2,100 in one day. So you can easily see how you can meet these numbers, all of these numbers to make 200 grand a year. It's just one day of trading. And I showed you the stats earlier, how there's not that many losers with my system, okay? So golden gaps are it. It makes it possible for one individual to become successful in the market and, and to really become wealthy. You can do it all. Long, shorts, options, day trades, swing trades. But you're only doing gaps. If you're trading the side of institutional money, all you need to do is ride the coattails of those institutional moves, but you gotta find them. That's the key, and it's only in good gaps. Flowing with the power and not against it will produce consistent and large winning trades for you. If you want to consistently make a lot of money in the market, the only way that will happen is if you're trading on the side of institutional money. It just will be very hard for you to be consistent if you are doing anything else. If you will find ups and downs, you will scalp, you will get out quick, you will do, you will buy support and sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. You'll show resistance, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. You can't buy support, that's not a strategy. It's something you look at in a chart. You look at it in a chart, it helps you with your entries, with stops, with targets, but it is not a strategy, okay? So my class is called the Golden Gap Course. 
It teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, which, which you will learn. So if you, again, you know, Sedona Trading had said, well, how long does it take to get good? Again, I don't know how good you are even at reading charts. So if you're not really good at reading charts, you will learn how to read charts better. Overall, you will have an overall better understanding of charts coming with me as well. So the Golden Gap course teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power in the charts, and it teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction. It teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts focusing on technical analysis and gaps. And it teaches how to get conviction in your trading and the market as a source of wealth by trading with the side of power for consistent profit. And like I said, the benefit is it just happens at these trades very often move fast in the morning. So I don't spend a lot of time in my trades. And another benefit is you can do it from home. You can do it in your office, you can do it from home. You can work anywhere in the world. I have half the people are in different countries and are in my trading room have taken the class. You can be anywhere and do this. You just need a computer and internet connection. And the class is online. So training, day trading specifically, which is what you know, we're talking about this today, whether it's the options or the day trades where you're in and out of the equity position, you want to make 200 grand a year, you chunk it out. It's not like taking one trade and making 10 grand in one trade. That's great when it happens, and sometimes it can when you have size on. But the idea is that you are chunking it out. It adds up. It starts to add up. 500, 1,000, 800, 400, 200, 2,000. It adds up, you chunk it out, okay? You're not looking for these huge home runs to make your goals, all right? You're looking to consistently make money, consistently find the right pick, consistently do well, get out when you're up, not have too many losers. And it's about having 100% conviction, which I do, and you learn this from me. So empower yourself to trade if you wanna do it, it is up to you, because the commitment is yours. It's your financial commitment to open up a trading account, before you do that, you should take my class and learn how to do what I do first. Trade in a demo, at least for a week if you've never traded before. If you have and have an account already, great. You just got to learn how to do gaps. I will tell you, though, that, that many people just, they think they know how to trade and they don't. And, and they just don't. You could line up 10 different traders in a room and, you know, it would be very challenging for them to determine the direction a stock will move in the day at least within the first 30 minutes or 60 minutes, as well as me. I really can predict where something's gonna go in, 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 the, in, a, in the time frame of the gap. I'm very good at it. And that's the reason that people pay me to come and learn from me. I mean, it's, it's, I'm very focused. I always say that you, you can be perfect for a half an hour a day. It's very hard to be perfect for six and a half hours. I don't wanna trade till four o'clock every day. And, and you know, it, it, you know, your eyes get tired, your brain gets tired. Do the thing that I teach you and get in and get out. Get in and get out. Get in and get out. You can hold the options longer if you want to. It depends how long you want to be in them. You do have to watch them. You have to sit all day and stare at the chart, but you have to be aware of the price. You have to watch, oh, where's the stock at? Is Google, oh, Google's at the, it's at the strike. Okay, time to take it. Or you, you put an order out ahead in case you're walking away. So my class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks in a professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free and the class is online. The class is this weekend, February 25th and 26th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to sign up, you have to email me. The sign-up information is not on the website. You will have to email me for the registration papers. The class is $49.99. That's five grand. Okay? This is the last big special I'm doing for earnings season for the Gap class. If you want to sign up, you can receive th a th three one-hour mentoring sessions with me, which can be online or in person if you live local. One hour is each. We can do it online. It's fine. And four months free in the trading room through the end of June. This is plenty of time for people to get up. I'm trying to do the most I can to help people to get up and running and make the money back for the class as soon as they can. Obviously, Susanna already did. There's other people that have as well. Some people I have signed up for the class haven't done it yet. I've been in the room, haven't done the class yet, and they've made more than the class already. They already knew how to trade. They don't know how to do gaps yet. They're going to learn with me, but they're just taking my ratings. I don't suggest that to everyone, but some people are just know from, you know, know from being in the room in the trial. You can you can email me if you want to do a trial in the room this week, Tuesday through Friday. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. But some people come, they know I know what I'm doing. They see me. 
they just know, okay, that are experienced, but they have no idea anything about gaps and they want to get my calls. They want to see what does she think about QCOM? Where, where is Target going? Google, whatever. Some of these trades like Google, you could have made the money for the class in just in that. So it's up to you what you want to do, but there is a learning curve for some people that don't know what they're doing, but I don't know what it is for you if I don't know you well enough. But if you know yourself, which you should, because if you don't know yourself and nobody does, if you know yourself and you know you're going to have a learning curve, then start. Do the class. Ease yourself into it. Ease yourself into it. Even if you don't have time to day trade every day, ease yourself into it. Do the class. Start to do the options. Trade one day a week. If you know you're going to have a learning curve because you know yourself and you know you're new or whatever the case is or you don't understand gaps, then ease yourself into it. Don't put pressure on yourself. You know? So the deadline for this is Friday, February 24th at 5 o'clock. I am also teach a bullish gap class. I do not do this every month. I may do this like once or twice a year. So the bullish gap course is going to be in March, a couple of weeks from now. March 6th, 7th, and 8th, noon to 5. This is going to be during the week. If you can't make the weekend bearish class, you do the bullish class during the week. I usually do the bearish class the weekends. And like I said, I'm doing the bullish class during the week, noon to 5. Same cost, same price. The points are not exactly the same for the bullish class, but since the market is so bullish right now, I, we got to do this class. There will be days that we're going to go long in the room, even though I prefer to short. Google was a good example, and people need to go over these ratings again, um, and I just don't do this class that often. If you want to sign up for both, okay, I'm giving a discount. You'd have to pay for both classes at the same time. So you do the bearish class this weekend, February 25th and 26th, you do the bullish class in March, March 6th, 7th, and 8th from noon to 5. You would save on this. So your total cost would be $7,500. All right? So you'd save $2,500 by paying for both at once. You'd have all the points for both going long and short. You know how to do gaps in both directions. And you'd get to be in the room till the end of June. And you'd have three live mentoring sessions with me for free as well. I mean, that is just a lot of my time and my energy to spend with you and get my trade calls in the room to really be able to do this and do well. So, it, you know, it's still the beginning of the year. Still plenty of time for you to learn how to do it and make 2017 a good year for yourself. But you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. If you want to get things done, it's up to you. You have to have the commitment. You have to have the focus. So success is within your grasp. I, I'm teaching people how to do this. They're doing well. I had one guy in, I was two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, no, it wasn't last week. It was the week before. He made almost 12 grand in one week. That was that was the most money that I ever heard one person say they all, they made in one week. Um, with the exception of of the one week that everybody made a lot of money in the in the options trades I had in in 2016. That was for a normal week where there were where we didn't have some crazy crazy big trade. The guy was just right on point just doing every single trade I called, every option, every every day trade, and then he was swing trading also the stocks I was calling as day trades. He just made a crazy amount of money. He's a real guy. He's actually on my Facebook. I think his wife even wrote a comment on the Stock Switch Facebook. He lives in Boston. I've never met him. He did the class, I think, in December. So, you know. This is just one of these things where you can do it. You've just got to decide I trust this person. I think she knows what she's talking about. This makes sense. Again, fine institutional money. I don't understand gaps, but I see what she's saying. I've got to learn the points. I've got to take the calls. If you want a one-week trial, you can be in the room this week. Again, today the market was closed. Email me at info at the stock Yeah, Bob of 2016 was the big one for everybody. I will do a video for you, Eric, for the Google. So if you're, I think you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube site, go subscribe to my YouTube site. Kathy has it up. And I will do a video and explain about the Google and talk about time value a little bit for Eric, uh, who is a student of mine. And I, actually, Eric is coming. Eric is coming to meet me face to face. I've never met Eric. He did the class, I think, in 2013. He's coming for a week of live mentoring with me in March. I will be meeting him face to face. He lives in Philadelphia. So very interesting. This is real people. You got to decide you want to do it. And again, I wish I could say how long it takes for every set person. I wish I could read every person's mind that I talk to on the phone or email, but I can't. And over time, as I'm, as I'm teaching longer, 
and 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 I'm talking to more people and I'm meeting more people from different places and different experiences, different backgrounds, different trading styles and face to face even. I'm 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 getting to know people better and I'm getting to see where people don't understand things sometimes and what they what they need. It's a process. You know, everybody has different issues. So, I'm learning as I'm getting to know people and, and, and it's helping me become a better teacher. For me, I think this, you know, it's, it's hard to have, you, it's really a window into my mind when you do the class. I, I have no idea how I figure this stuff out. I guess, I mean, part of it is just, you know, I, I was a lot of hard work, but I mean, I, I'm so grateful every day that I did. When I look back at that time in my life where I was trying to figure out these points and trying to figure out how to make money trading and trying to figure all this stuff out, I mean, it was a hard couple of years of my life, but I really did it. I mean, I really, really did it. So, and, and now other people are benefiting from the years that it took me to do it besides myself. And I'm very proud of that. So the class is $5,000, but it's absolutely worth it. Does anyone have any questions? If not, you can email me here. Oops. And thanks everyone for coming. There you go. Kathy's been posting it. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.